Hello, this is a video on easy Wi-Fi broadcast where you can control your quadcopter from your Tyrannus using Raspberry Pis and off-the-shelf USB uh, dongles and Wi-Fi cards and I'm going to show you how to set that up. So on the quadcopter end you've got the USB camera, you've got the flight controller and they are both connected to the Raspberry Pi and that the Raspberry Pi is then connected to the external Wi-Fi card here which is like a dongle so called and that transmits the video and receives the control data to the other end and on the other end you have an, another external Wi-Fi card USB connected to a Raspberry Pi and in this case I've got a Raspberry Pi B Plus and that also connects to the transmitter which I'm using a Tyrannus and also the HDMI port on the Raspberry Pi connects to your goggles. Okay, so here we are in beta flight. And if you go connect to your quad copter, and um, the first thing to go to configuration, and just scroll down to receiver. And here we have serial based receivers, which is how this is going to work. Yeah, easy Wi-Fi broadcast is connecting on the serial on the Raspberry Pi to the flight controller using serial data, and you just select serial based receiver. And I have selected iBus. Um, I do know other protocols do work, but uh, iBus just seems the most vanilla um, one that I happen to choose, and I know works. And so, correspondingly in ports you also select uh, UART2 as serial RX and I also set all these all the speed all the serial speeds to 115200 um, as I know that works with easy Wi-Fi broadcast so what you also need to make sure is that your UART2 RX pin RX2 on the flight controller is connected to the TX serial pin on the Raspberry Pi and you can find that obviously on the header connections so that's the data that's going to go from the Raspberry Pi to the flight controller your control data your thumbs and switches data and in the other direction comes your telemetry data so that for that you need to set Mavlink in the telemetry outputs and I also set that to 115200 serial speed that's the baud rate and I used TX1 so the TX1 pin on the flight controller connects to the Raspberry Pi RX pin remember they are switched round so TX to RX and RX to TX and uh, yeah that's all I did um, just making sure that uh, the speeds I, I think I selected auto first of all and it didn't work but once I selected 115200 it started working and this speed also corresponds to the configuration of the easy Wi-Fi broadcast file which I'll put in the link below okay and here we are on the easy Wi-Fi broadcast github repository and uh, if you scroll, just scroll down to this section here you can download the latest version currently which is 1.6 RC and once you've downloaded that just simply put it onto two micro SD cards um, so one for the air pie and one for the ground pie so here you can see I've created a diagram where the Tyrannus and the goggles are connected to the Pi and the Raspberry Pi is connected to the Wi-Fi card and this transmits and receives to the other uh, external USB Wi-Fi card and that connects to the Pi Zero and you can see the camera also connected there and that's just where the flight controller up the top there connects via the serial lines to the Pi and that's pretty much it. Uh, just one other thing I wanted to note was that I took the power supply to to power the 
Wi-Fi card on the AirPi from the flight controller instead of running it through the USB power supply on the Pi. Uh, this has the advantage of being able of not overloading the power supply through the Pi um, because obviously you've got the camera on there which does consume some extra current for the Pi's power supply and um, yeah and that, that was it really and uh, one other thing I just want to add is if you like this video please rate like and subscribe thank you